multiplying polynomials. All ashma. All right, Schmupper, it's about time we had uh, the talk. Sometimes when two polynomials love each other very much, well, they decide to multiply. Now we're going to explain to you how that happens. I'll try to leave out most of the gory details. All right, so say you have two polynomials, and get your minds out of the gutter, you people. All right, say you have two polynomials with multiple terms, like there's an x cubed in there and a couple of x squareds, some x's, and so on. Something like, uh, well, these two. Well, to multiply them, we have to be sure to multiply every term in the first polynomial by every term in the second polynomial, okay? That's this, times this, times this, 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 this. Yeah, like that. So it's a delicate process. We miss a single term and we could wind up with a polynomial with three heads. It's been known to happen. Ever see the people who live down the river? Yeah, well, that nuclear plant is really bad. Okay, so we start with the 2x cubed in the first polynomial and multiply it by every term in the second. So 2x cubed times 4x squared is 8x to the fifth. Add these things. 2x cubed times 3x is 6x to the fourth. Got it? So x is just x to the first, and we add it with x cubed. And then 2x cubed times 2 is 4x cubed. All right, then we move on to the second term in the first polynomial and do the same spiel. 3x squared times 4x squared is 12x to the fourth. 3x squared times 3x is 9x to the third and 3x squared times 2 is 6x squared. So remember, you see an x, remember that's to the 1. When you're multiplying exponents, you add them. All right, now for the third term in the first polynomial, this thing, and don't forget the minus sign. That's going to turn all our answers here negative. Well, negative x times 4x squared is negative 4x cubed. Negative x times 3x is negative 3x squared. And negative x times 2 is negative 2x. OK, last one. 7 times 4x squared is 28x squared. 7 times 3x is 21x, and 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, great. So now we have this. Ugh, what a mess. No wonder people cringe when they uh, have the talk and hear how this stuff works. But we can make it much, much prettier. We just have to uh, combine like terms. All right, we only have one term to the fifth power, so we can leave that one as it is. And we add these two guys, then these three, then these three, then these two, and this last one gets left as is too. So we finally just string them all together to get 8x to the fifth plus 18x to the fourth plus 9x to the third plus 31x squared plus 19x plus 14. And a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, like that. All right, so a little more complicated than their parents, but you can still see some similarities. Well, multiplying three or more polynomials, same deal. Just takes a little more time. You'd multiply the first two polynomials the way you usually would, and then take that answer and multiply it by the next polynomial in line. Oh, be careful though, it's uh, only legal in some parts of uh, red states. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.